sorry, all three of my roommates just left to go to the gym <laughs> together, so they just passed the door. Um, <laughs> cool, so the house is to myself though, that's exciting. Hey, hi, hello, friendos. So today I wanted to talk about college, and this is kind of what I planned on doing with this channel in general, but I ended up kind of like not heading in that direction. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, but it's okay because I'm back on track. I was doing a live stream on Instagram a while back, um, I don't know, a couple days ago, and for some reason the topic of college came up, and I went on a rant about um, my college experience and like my freshman year, what it was like living in the dorm, what it was like, I don't know, being there for the first time. So I wanted to talk about that today because regardless of your age, Lots of people go to college, it's still very much the social norm. Even if you don't, it's kind of cool to just hear about college. And maybe you guys can learn from this, maybe you guys will be interested in hearing about it and it can make college seem less scary. I don't know, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So um, I'm a sophomore in college, well oh, no I'm not. I'm a junior in college now, because <laughs> it's summer so I'm officially a junior, which is crazy. But I'm going to talk mainly about like freshman year experience. and then if. You guys like this video and you want to see more i can talk about like the rest of my college time anyways so freshman year um i very much wanted to go to a big school well i wouldn't say i wanted to go to a big school but like i wanted like the typical college spirit experience so i wanted to go to a school that like had sports had like a big football team had like a lot of options for what i wanted to major in and was like a pretty like respected University and I did I, I go to a rather large public university at my school There's um several different types of dorms that you can live in there's like the traditional dorm style Which is what I lived in my freshman year and that's um a, In my case on my floor there were 50 girls two girls to each room So like 25 ish rooms um, And then a shared bathroom and your room just has like two beds a, two desks two dressers two closets all of that for your storage space and then a shared bathroom, shared kitchen, shared living space, common room. Um, then there's also like a suite style dorm where it's like two bedrooms, a shared common space like living room, kitchen, and then usually two bathrooms too. So like two people live in one room and they share a bathroom, two people live in another room, share a bathroom, and then they share a kitchen and living space. And then there's like apartment style dorms where it's like what I live in now, where you have four bedrooms, four bathrooms, um, shared kitchen, shared living room. Um, those tend to be more expensive, so I went on the cheaper end and I went for like the full college experience with like living with a bunch of girls and all on the same floor. So um, the dorm I lived in was four floors. So the first floor was female, then male, then female, then male. And then you have an RA that lives on each floor. And then my dorm area was like with um, three other like dorm areas in the similar like style. <laughs> Um, so there's like a bunch of people all living around you and that's what I loved about it. The best thing about living in like a traditional style dorm is there's so many people and you're on campus obviously so you get to meet tons of people and you're super close to your classes for the most part depending on how big your campus is. Um, you can walk to class, you can walk to like all the food places on campus um, and in that aspect it was great. And like I said I lived in traditional so. <laughs> Um, my freshman year, I lived at the very end of the hallway, so there was like the door into the dorm, then my room. The bathroom was all the way at the end of the hall, so anytime you needed water <laughs> to brush your teeth, wash your hands, wash dishes, go to the bathroom, take a shower, any of that, you had to walk all the way down the hall. So you have to like wear normal clothes and like make your way downtown um, to do all of that kind of stuff. What was kind of annoying, and this isn't the case with um, all college dorms but the dorms that we lived in we didn't have like a sink in our bedroom and like I feel like that would have been cool because then we wouldn't have to leave to like get water or to brush our teeth or anything like that so that was kind of annoying and then obviously like 50 girls sharing one bathroom and in my case the bathroom and I'm not saying this is scary this is like just college you know sometimes you deal with this stuff and there's always different options for everybody. In our case there were 50 girls on the floor and we had four showers, six bathroom stalls, and six sinks. So although the bathrooms get cleaned every day and they're like deep cleaned once a week, 
it still got pretty messy and like sometimes that could be super annoying when you like want to go to the bathroom and you want to like chill out but it's like kind of gross so obviously it's not terrible or anything like that you're like oh my gosh i can't go to the bathroom but like that can kind of wear down on you eventually yeah so that was traditional dorm style living now i had a couple friends that lived in like the apartment style and i went over and it's not like an apartment apartment like what i live in now but it is like pretty private you have your own room your own bathroom etc um which is really nice but they are like really small like smaller than this which is kind of annoying i don't know because like even though i shared my room in my traditional style dorm uh with my roommate which i'll get into like whole roommate thing too so yeah even though i shared the room with another girl we have like our own separate beds own separate desk own separate everything and like the room is relatively big like it was a decent size like we could all fit all of our stuff and we had like a tv a microwave a fridge um like all of our bedding all of our like lamps and stuff like that they all fit in the room like really well and like even though the closets are small you get your own closet or at least i did so your dorm space your dorm room is like relatively big and when you have your own 4-4, it's smaller. And I kind of liked having like a pretty big space to like hang out in. Um, it's up to you, whatever you think would be best for you, whatever you think your preference is. Like I said, with the traditional style dorm, it's really cool because especially for your first year, you meet tons of people. And that's definitely my favorite takeaway from it. Like at the end of my first year of college, I had tons of friends. And at the beginning of this year, we had a Halloween party and basically invited like a bunch of the girls that we met on our floor and our RA to come like hang out at our apartment and stuff like that. And anytime you see them on campus, it's a familiar face that you know, that you technically like lived with. So that's super cool. And I got really lucky that like almost all the girls on my floor were like super nice and friendly. The girl that lived next door to us was also a journalism major. So it was really cool to like meet people that were like similar interests to you and like you made your best friends. And the roommates that I live with now, it's the one roommate that I lived with in the same dorm, and then two girls that we met from down the hall. So it's a really great way to meet people and meet people that you could live with when you move off campus, if you choose to move off campus. Tea break. So, um, roommate situation. So, a, a lot of you are probably, if you're going to college, if you even think about it, if you wonder, like, what is it like to live with a roommate? What, how do you even find a roommate to live with? Okay, so, I didn't know my roommate prior to school, like prior to coming to college. Um, the cool thing about the world we live in today is that now that we have the internet, it's a lot easier to like meet people and like find roommates and stuff like that. So a lot of people will like start posting about themselves on like the school Facebook page. So like when you graduate or like when you decide like what college you want to go to, there's usually a page Facebook page that's like so-and-so college class of 2019 or whatever and you join that Facebook page and from then on you're like in college <laughs> and people will post there all the time with like textbook stuff and roommate stuff and like subleasing apartments and all of that kind of stuff so freshman year or prior to your freshman year everyone's posting to try to find a roommate. My school also did this program called RoomSync and you could basically like put a short little bio about yourself answer some questions like are you really neat are you super tidy like are you like a perfectionist or like vice versa do you mind if people are messy do you mind if people are loud how late do you stay up those kinds of questions <laughs> then it like matches you my situation is pretty unique so what ended up happening with my roommate now and freshman year uh is I filled out the questionnaire and I was on room sync and I would scroll through like, I don't know, a couple times a week or whatever and like try to find people that I was like, oh, I have a lot in common with them, I would love to meet them and then you like send them an email or you message them on Facebook or whatever and be like, hey, do you want a room together? And, like some people won't even answer you, some people will be like, oh, sorry, I already found a roommate, etc, etc. And in my situation, I was at school one day and my friend that I knew at school that was also going to the same college as me. Um, was talking to me and she was like, hey, I was on room sync the other day and I found this girl who like is really similar to you. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, what's her name and stuff? And she like told me and she told me like a little bit about like what her bio said and stuff like that. And even though that roommate didn't pop up in my recommendations or anything like that, you can search their name. So once she told me, I searched her name and I sent her an email and it worked out. And she sent me an email back 
and we decided to room together and it was really great and even though I didn't know her I kind of got to know her over the summer so we like skyped and we texted and we like coordinated what we wanted to decorate our room like and all of that kind of stuff which was super cool and I got really lucky with my roommate and like we had a lot in common and we got along really well like my freshman year and all of that kind of stuff so like it's really it can be tricky to find a roommate and a lot of people room with their best friends and it doesn't end up working out or it does end up working out and it's really a different situation for everyone and I honestly can't give you any like overarching advice about what you should do because it really just depends on your situation and like maybe you have like a sibling that you can room with or like something like that like everyone kind of has a different like roommate story and there's also always you can check like you want a random roommate and then it's just a random person that you live with and sometimes that ends up being like the absolute best option because you don't really know anything about each other so you just get to learn about each other and I feel like I had like a good kind of mix because like Brittany wasn't random but she was pretty much a stranger <laughs> but it ended up working out really well so that was really cool um let me see is there anything else I can talk about I mean I basically wanted to keep this to talking about like living on campus freshman year and I will probably keep up with this. I'll make it into like maybe like a little series of like things that you might not know about college that are kind of cool to find out before you go. If you have any other questions about anything that I talked about in this video, anything I didn't talk about that you want me to talk about, anything that you just like to know in general about college, leave them down in the comments. I super love help with like figuring out what to talk about, what you guys want to know because I've done it. I'm halfway through my college career now. I have answers to some things, I don't have answers to everything, but I'd love to give advice about this kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye bye Okay, I couldn't hear it like doing its weird tick-tick noise, so I was like, has it been recording this whole time?